Talk to me about building your brand, building your reputation. I learned. Go ahead. I learned a long time ago. You can, you can, you can literally build your brand. It takes a long time to build your brand. Mm-hmm. Like your reputation takes a long time, but you can destroy it like that, right? You can destroy your whole reputation just like that. So one of the things that I learned is that I do and I say, and everything that I do and everything I say always matches up. So if I say I'm gonna do something, I do it. My integrity is with myself. So if I'm like, oh, I'm gonna open up this business, I open it up. Mm-hmm. If I tell someone to be somewhere, I'm gonna be there on time, right? Always, why? Because I made a commitment to somebody, right? So to me, what I say, I'm very predictable. I'm predictable in who I am, but I'm very unpredictable in my strategy. So how you build your reputation is by being predictable. For example, when you think of Apple, what do you think of? A predictable product. When you think of Samsung, you think of a predictable product, right? You think of Nokia, you're like, I don't know. It's not predictable, right? They used to be, but then something happened. Leadership got faulted or whatever. So when you think of a name brand, right? A brand is not a name. A brand is how you how it makes you feel. What does that reputation make you feel? When you say the word Apple, Walmart, Amazon, how does it, when I think of Amazon, I think of speed and I'm never gonna have an issue. That's what I think. Like you can buy whatever you want on Amazon, you don't like it, you return it within 30 days. They don't ask no questions. Like I bought a, I, I bought a garbage pail the other day. It didn't work. I sent that shit back, nobody asked me any questions. If I bought it from a store, Bring me the receipt. Why didn't you have this? They have to open the box. You got to waste time. That's not building a brand. Amazon built a brand. We don't ask questions. We're going to deliver it to you fast. We're going to make it seamless and as easy as possible. So think about what you what you want your name and your brand to be. Like my name is a brand. Your name is a brand. What do you want people to say about you? When people say Michael Barai, what do they say? It equals what? If they say he's an asshole, he's a bad person, he's a thief, he's a he's a robber, whatever it may be, that's not a good reputation, obviously. But you you control that reputation with your actions and the way you actually you know conduct yourself in business. So one of the things that we actually do with our Nova Energy brand, which is our solar company, our our whole thesis of our brand is we develop leaders. And what do leaders do? They make an impact on people. So everything we do is based on making an impact on somebody else. Adding value to the customer, adding value to the people that we respectively serve, doing things for other people. It's not about you and your stupid commissions. Are the commissions high? Absolutely. We pay our guys a lot of money, but that's not the real reason why they're here. We're here to make an impact on people. We're here to make an impact on the community, on the environment, on ourselves as a team. And because we do that, we give five-star service. Why glove treatment all the time? We don't just say that. We actually conduct that. We call our customers every two weeks to see and give them updates on what's going on with their accounts. It takes time to get installed. It takes time for them to get the equipment and the products. And we go out there and we communicate with them and tell them what's going on. Most companies don't do that. They sign them up and then they wait three, four months to get installed. We do the opposite. Every two weeks, we give updates. We have communications, not only with the sales rep, but also we have a customer service department that communicates with them. I don't even want to call it customer service because it's not even customer service. It's customer add value. Like, how do we make this customer's lifetime that's better? How do we make them say, wow, your experience was awesome? Even though there may be challenges, because that's business, there might be some issues, might be some holes in the roof, might be some kind of you know nonsense stuff that happens because it's, 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 you know, it's a big project, but they still come out of it saying, wow, you guys truly cared about us. So that's how you build your reputation. You think about other people. You, you have, to, have to have that mindset of, how do I want people to treat me? Put and yourself do this, in their shoes. Yeah, put yourself in their shoes, do the exact same thing for them and more.